Good morning, guys. So I am running a little late, and I'm trying to find my shoes. And I have no idea where my shoes are. If I'm being totally honest. So anyway, the kids are off at school. <laughs> I can't find anything. <laughs> oh my heck. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. And a deodorant put on. My baby is tearing up the rest of the house. I am trying to get my shoes on my feet so we can go. <laughs> so, Jack, this little man right here, carrying the dog bowl around and making messes as I'm trying to get out of the house, has a dentist appointment, his very first dentist appointment. So that is where we are going right now. All of the kids are at school, y'all. I wanted Jack. Holy mess. Come here. I have to talk to you guys in a minute. All right, made it into the car. And I think we're gonna be a little late, you guys. I thought I had everything good to go and then I realized that <clears throat> I did not I did not I forgot about having some of his paperwork filled out like pre filled out because this is his first appointment so I had to get online and do that really quick so anyway it's cool it's fine we are leaving <sighs> guys I'm so stressed out so the last I vlogged, you guys, you guys saw me like rushing this morning, getting ready. We were running mildly late to get out the door um, for Jack's dentist appointment. Well, that wasn't a bad thing. Like we got there in time. It was not a big deal. Um, but the day went way downhill after the dentist appointment. <laughs> and it wasn't all bad. Don't get me wrong. The day was not all bad. I had lunch with my mother-in-law and we went shopping and... That was fun and I always enjoy spending time with her, but so I was already frustrated just because it was getting on in the day. I was trying to get home because I had to get the kids off the bus and just things were a little chaotic. So we're shopping for shoes, right? Like we get Jack a pair of shoes, like we get me a pair of shoes and um, it's going fine. Like we check out, we go to the car, I told her bye, thank you. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, I have my husband's like uh, work logo on here, so I had to put a piece of tape over it to cover it up because um, <laughs> I don't want you guys to know where he works. Um, but he, uh, he, what am I talking about? Anyway, I told her bye. I went to go get in the car. Um, I loaded up my bags. I put Jack in the car and then I put the diaper bag in the passenger seat. And I walk around and I, you know, I put the buggy away, I walk around, I get in the car and um, I go to look through my diaper bag to get my keys. Now, so you guys, this is my diaper bag. This is my diaper bag. It's super simple. Um, you open it, you have a compartment here and you have a compartment here. Well, I put my keys my whole like bundle of keys, I wrapped them in a onesie that Jack had um, because I just had it in the bag for him to have a change of clothes. And I don't know if you guys can tell, right here, there's a pocket. So I put his onesie with my keys wrapped in it in this pocket and then right in the same pocket, I put my wallet. That's where I always put things. It's never fallen out before. I always wrap my keys for that reason so that they don't just slide out or whatever. No, don't get me wrong, I'm a clumsy person. I lose my keys on a daily basis. I lose my phone on a daily basis. So when I got to the car and I couldn't find my keys, instantly I'm just thinking, oh, it's my own clumsiness. I lost them, like I just misplaced them, like duh, that's what happened. Um, because it happens often, <laughs> like it happens often. But then I realize, hold on, my wallet's gone. So is the outfit that I got, had for Jack. And when we were shopping, like this was closed and I'm pretty sure it was snapped. I can't say for sure that it was snapped, but I'm pretty sure it was snapped. Anyway, 
I couldn't find it. And I dug through the whole entire truck. I dug through my purse, which was separate from this. I dug through my pockets. I pulled out some car seats and I, y'all, the baby was crying at this point because it was so flipping hot and I had to give up. So I called my mother-in-law. She came back to the store, bless her heart. And she took Jack inside and got him a drink while I continued to frantically look for my keys. So at this point in my head, all I'm thinking is, oh my gosh, I don't have my keys. I can't get into my house. I can't get home to get my kids off the bus and they're gonna be off the bus in like 30 minutes. So I was just, I was just in panic mode and I had a migraine on top of it because it was hot outside and I was flustered and all of the things. Anyway, I never did find the keys. Um, we figured out that somebody took the keys out of the bag and we assume now i can't say definitively i did not see anybody nor did my mother-in-law um, but i had it on my back most of the time that we were shopping and the store was crowded there was a good bit of people in the store um, not necessarily in the sections that we were in but i mean we passed a few people like somebody could have easily lifted this part reached in and just grabbed it so we think it was just a quick grab, like they felt something and grabbed it and ran or walked off quickly um, because obviously they didn't get anything of value. So they didn't have total access to my bag. My camera's still in there. Like, <sighs> anyway, my wallet's gone, but it's not a total loss because when I went to the dentist with Jack, I didn't want to carry in the diaper bag and my purse. So I took out my debit card, I took out my driver's license, and I took out my insurance card and put it in my back pocket. So thank God I had those three things in my back pocket when this happened or else under normal circumstances, those things would have been in my wallet and then we would have been in a bigger pickle. Anyway, my mother-in-law drove me back home and luckily I left the back door of the house unlocked and I was able to get my spare set of keys. I do have a spare key to my truck. I have spare house keys, all of the things. I had a whole set of just spare keys. So it's not a total loss. I did not find my keys. I don't know who has my keys. They were probably very disappointed when they opened my wallet and found that all I had was a Kroger Plus card in there, but, and maybe like three or four dollars but it could have been worse and I'm thankful that it wasn't worse and I'm trying to just have grace and move on um, even though it does tick me off a lot because it was just a super big inconvenience but you know what that's life it happens sometimes people suck people suck you guys um, and the store manager they offered to like check cameras and all of that stuff but I was just like you know what I didn't really like lose anything of value so I mean, I guess I did, but I had spares. It could have been worse. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, that's why I didn't vlog the rest of the day because I was so stressed out. I had a migraine and I had to get the kids off the bus and I had to get their lunches packed for the next day and get paperwork signed and get them all cleaned up and get them all dressed for bed and get them all in bed. Um, and I still have to sweep the floors and clean up the house. So today vlogging just didn't work out like a plan guys just didn't work out it's okay it's okay tomorrow's a new day and we're gonna have a good day tomorrow i am going to vlog tomorrow oh and piper missed karate tonight because my brain literally just dumped that information i it was on overload and it dumped that information and I, it was like 5 30 and zoe's like doesn't piper have karate today and i was like yep yeah. she sure did missed it didn't go it's okay it's okay i feel like god is offering me some grace and i feel like i'm super thankful that i had all of my important things i had a spare set of keys speaking of which if you guys don't have a spare set of car keys house keys all of the important things go have spare keys made keep a spare set of keys somewhere safe in your house that's important or somewhere i don't personally love putting like spare keys outside of my house i think that's kind of stupid because people find it but if you have a really good hiding spot outside of your house do that um, always a good idea but I've never used my spare set of keys it's been years and years and I've just never needed to use it but today I did and I was very thankful that I had taken the time to have a spare set of keys made anyway I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this 
I don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just post this vlog. I'm just going to post it. You guys, I'm just going to post it because ugh, even though it sucks, this video sucks. But maybe give it a big thumbs up anyway. And tomorrow is going to be a new day, you guys. Tomorrow is going to be better. <laughs> tomorrow cannot be as bad as today. It can't be. There's no way. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And don't forget, always live to inspire. Bye, guys.